In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect your Mac computer to your Canon Maxify MB2720. I'll also show you how to print using the Wi-Fi and also how to get the scan results from your printer directly on your computer. Let's get started right away. The first step is to go on the screen of your Canon printer because we need to connect it to your Wi-Fi network first. So here all we have to do is to swipe until you see LAN settings on the top right corner. Click on it and then select wireless LAN setup. Select standard setup, wait. Search for your Wi-Fi network in this list. You can swipe up and down. My Wi-Fi network is this one, so I'll click on it. And now it's time to enter the password. Tap in the middle of the screen and now type the password. You can also have access to numbers and capital letters by clicking on this button over here. Once the password is entered, press OK. OK again. You're going to get the confirmation that it has been connected to your wireless router. Press OK. On your Mac computer now, go on the top left corner, click on the Apple logo, then select System Settings. Go down in the left side menu until you see Printers and Scanners. Click on this, then go down this menu and select Add Printer, Scanner or Fax. This window will appear. Now it's time to select your Canon MB2700 series printer from the list and select Add on the lower right side. If you want to use the fax option of your printer, click Add Fax Printer. Most people won't use this feature ever, so I'll click Not Now. And just like that, your printer has been um, added to your Mac computer. It will be in this list. Let's get started by showing you how to print. So first of all, open any files on your Mac you wish to print. Let's say I got this picture, okay? Go on the top left corner, click on File, then select Print. Under Printer, make sure your Canon MB2700 series is the one selected. You can also change any of these settings down below. One thing I like to change is under Media and Quality, the quality is normal. I like to select best every time I print any pictures or artwork. It will give you the best results, obviously. And once this is done, click on print. Make sure this paper tray is extended because the result will come out in just a few seconds. Here we go. This is our beautiful print that came out. Everything looks good, perfect. Now let me show you how to use both of the scanners of your Canon printer and get the results on your Mac. So over here on the top, we have the top document feeder if you open this flap. This means that if you have multiple pages you would like to scan at the same time, let's say 20, 25, or even just two of them, you can put them over here, let me show you. So I have three different pages here in this document, align them, place them facing up with the top part of your document towards the left side. So simply glide them and you're going to hear a beep once you reach the end. All right, this is for the top document feeder, by the way, if you want to use the normal scanner instead, all you have to do is to put your uh, paper, let me just show you, because then after that, it's the same thing you need to do on your Mac for both um, methods. So if you want to use this scanner, place it facing down with the top part towards the left and align this corner of your paper with that corner right over there of the scanner. So just make sure both of them are touching like that if you want to use this scanner. But for this example, I'll simply use the top one. So I'll put it back here. On your Mac, you simply have to go back in the scan printer and scanners menu, the one that we were previously. So go and here, click system settings, click printer and scanners, and you'll be here. Select your Canon printer by clicking on it, and then select open scanner. Select it from the left side, 
and wait a few seconds. You'll get a scan preview, but since we don't use the flatbed option, the preview will be white. Don't worry, simply go on the top right corner where you see scan mode, and instead of flatbed, if you want to use the top document feeder like I do, select document feeder. Then select if you want in black and white or color. The resolution is quite important as well. If you're scanning anything with a lot of details, like a picture, you want to select the highest number. If you're simply scanning text with some graphics, 200 dpi is plenty of details for normal usage. And by the way, if you select 200 dpi, it only takes 12 seconds to scan. While if you select 600 dpi and you want to scan, let's say, a painting, well, it may take even a minute or two to scan. Anyway, I'll leave it to 200. Make sure the size of the paper you want to scan is the right one. Over here you can select on which folder you want the results to be saved on your Mac. You can even get, um, you can even write a new name for this file. So let's say new file scan Canon. Select the format. If you have multiple pages and you want to combine them in one single PDF document, select PDF. And then you're going to keep this check combine into single document. I'll leave it like this. At the end, press scan and everything will begin. Since I have selected the top document feeder, you see the printer is taking one by one each page and scanning them. Don't touch anything. Everything is done quite quickly. And on the computer, wait a few seconds once it has finished, it will be saved. You see on my desktop, if you see here, this is the file. So if I open it, I'll get the PDF file with the multiple pages. Really nice. This is how you connect your Mac to your Canon printer and how to scan and also how to print. If you find my video useful, please take a moment and comment down below, like, subscribe. And if you ever want to get ink, paper or even a brand new printer, I'll put links in the description. Every time you go through them, I get a very small commission uh, through Amazon. Thanks for watching.